Hello there, my Gemini Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What's up, Geminis? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my dear sweet Gemini. Happy birthday to you. Make that wish count, Geminis. Make that wish count. So what is the energy with you, Geminis? You got a lot of Crosswatcher vibes, so look good, Geminis. What's up with you? What's up with you, Geminis? Interesting. Bottom of the deck, High Priestess. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. I definitely feel like your intuition is on point, Geminis. But take what's yours and leave what's not. Ooh, there's the Four of Cups. Someone definitely feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you, Geminis. But I don't feel like you really missed out on an opportunity. Six of Swords with the King of Pentacles. Mmm... Someone does not like the fact that you pulled your energy away too, Geminis. So, damn. You got judgment down there on the bottom. So, you understand this energy, Geminis? There's like a good balance vibe when it comes to you, Geminis. There's the Ten of Wands. So, you've turned down opportunities. Boss-ass energy here with Aries. Ah. <sighs> Knight of Wands, you've changed direction in regards to something, and this creates some sort of a static energy around you. There's some, like, conflict energy when it comes to you, Geminis, too. Definitely be mindful of the Crosswatcher vibes, Geminis. Uh, especially if you're being hard to read, or you're just more focused on yourself. You're making boss-ass moves here at that Emperor energy. That's like the pearl vibes. I think, uh, isn't that like the birthstone, birthstone for Geminis? Judgment, the Knight of Swords, and the Aquarius energy. Ooh, that Aquarius influence uh, when it comes to you, Geminis. A lot of beautiful clarity here. Hopefully you're finding that. Hopefully you're seeing that, Geminis. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. Some of you could be full and more focused to your astrology now. To help you sort of navigate some of the stuck, stagnant energy. There's a lot of release that needs to take place too, Geminis. And don't tap into energies that you don't need, Geminis. So what's your vibe versus what's the sort of cross-watcher vibe? Because you've definitely got a lot of cross-watchers, Geminis. High Priestess energy. Damn, with the Nine of Wands. You've definitely established some very healthy boundaries here. There's way too much sort of opposition when it comes to you, Geminis, but something just isn't quite working. Especially if you don't sort of tap into that energy. Focus on the healing, Geminis. Focus on uh, better relationships, partnerships. What's uh, your attention right now? Who or what's getting your attention right now? This is boss-ass moves when it comes to you, Geminis. So if you've got strong Aries placement... Damn, you're definitely hard to read. I love your energy, Geminis. Uh, but damn, take what's yours and leave what's not. There's like an optimism or there should be an optimism with you when it comes to relationships or partnerships, Gemini. But you're going to have to navigate some sort of stuck stagnant energy. You you get met with a lot of opposition, Geminis, but it's that sort of cross watcher energy. You made some choices here. You made some choices. So definitely trust your instincts and your intuition when it comes to your decision making, Geminis. What's between the High Priestess there and the Nine of Wands? The Two of Swords. Uh, you get more Crosswatcher vibes, Geminis. So make sure that the energy isn't sort of tapping into Crosswatcher when it comes to you. Because you're definitely showing up really good. A lot of opposition. So there's a lot of sort of start-stop energy around you, Geminis. But I don't think that's focused on you. So look to your astrology, Geminis. Pay attention to that sort of energy as well. I sing the body electric. I celebrate the Mia to come. 
I'll toast to my own reunion when I become one with the sun. I look back on Venus, I look back on Mars, and I'll shine with the fire of ten million stars. And in time, and in time, we will all be stars. Ooh, damn Geminis. Ooh, there's this sort of competitive vibe with you too, Geminis. So take what's yours, leave what's not. This is an interesting energy. What's your inspiration right now, Geminis? Those of you that kind of did an about face, it really made all the difference with you. So you're looking at something different. You're focusing on something different. This is a good sort of switch up energy when it comes to you, Geminis. So a lot of obstacles you're overcoming, but you're being very, it's a very energetic vibe with you, Geminis. So damn, don't tap into the sort of unnecessary with that sort of Piscean moon right there. Ooh, be mindful of the crosswatcher energy too, Geminis. This is like hermit mode, Geminis, but it actually is a very beneficial to you. So whatever you're using for your sort of influence right now, Geminis, some of you watch your favorite astrologer. This is like uh, you got a lot of choices. You got a lot of options. Always choose the more positive uh, option here, Geminis. Those of you that like pearls or that sort of iridescent energy. Mm, Geminis. Over top of the Two of Swords is the Ace of Swords there at that Chariot energy. Ooh, Archangel Michael vibes here. What is your sort of source of inspiration as well? Crown on that's the Seven of Wands. Those of you that definitely have established healthy boundaries. You're being very mindful here too, Geminis. There is no sort of... Uh, what's a word with you, Geminis? You're not doing anything that's sort of unnecessary. You're very focused on you. You're very focused on this sort of peace, love, and light vibe as well. Optimism when it comes to relationships or partnerships, Geminis. A lot of you are calling in the right uh, opportunities, but you got to be mindful of the sort of uh, sluggish energy around you. Red light, yellow light, green light, go. Who or what's your inspiration right now? Get the rest that you need, Geminis. Focus on what's important to you. There is like this energy of stagnation, but it is what it is. It takes whatever time it takes. So keep focusing on you. Oh, I love that King of Cups vibe. Uh, it's There's far more optimism when it comes to you, Geminis, than what there is negative vibes. But uh, you got to make sure that you're focusing on what is important to you. Those of you, when it comes to a better relationship or partnership, that energy will come. That, that sort of opportunity will show up when it's the right time, when it's the right vibe. And it will be very undramatic, Geminis. Uh, so don't expect your next relationship or partnership to have a lot of fanfare around it, to have a lot of sort of uh, superfluous energy. It's going to be a very smooth going type vibe. It's going to be very smooth going. So if there's any sort of opposition in there, it's not going to be with your relationships or partnerships. Damn Geminis. Looking at things from a different perspective. You've had like a change. You've done like an about face here, which really makes all the difference when it comes to you, Geminis. Definitely very focused on yourself. Look, you got the Empress energy down there at the bottom. So my creative Geminis, stay creative. It's a very interesting energy with you. Basis of all this, there's that Piscean energy. Lord Geminis. Your cross watchers are all up in their fills. There's the Two of Swords. Pay that energy no mind. So do be mindful of your cross-watching energy, Geminis. Don't tap into that. There's the, This is like the tangible opportunities when it comes to you, Geminis. Those of you, this is like from dreams to reality. So stay focused, Geminis. Stay focused. There's the Five of... Do the work, Geminis. This is do the work. Practice, practice, practice. Pre and post-workout stretching, Geminis. Put forth that time, energy, and attention. Mm. The body electric. If you know the song. What's over that five of pentacles? The ten of wands. Let me upgrade you, Geminis. Keep putting forth the time, energy, and attention. 
Damn, Gemini's. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Damn, Gemini's. Keep pulling that focus back on you. There is that cross watcher vibe with you, Gemini's. There is that competitive vibe with you, Gemini's. Take what's yours and leave what's not. Trust your intuition right now because your intuition is definitely on point. So if something don't feel right, trust that vibe. This is a lot of like muscle memory too. So there's some physiology when it comes to this too, Gemini's. So it's a lot of practice energy with you. It's, it's sort of getting in that mode where you just know. That brings about that free-flowing energy with you, too. Two of Pentacles there at the Two of Swords. This is like mastering, learning, understanding, growing. Pulling focus back on you. What is important to you? Who is important to you right now? Optimism when it comes to relationships or partnerships, though, Gemini's. That's what's going to make the difference here. Definitely having healthy boundaries when it comes to relationships or partnerships. Working relationships or partnerships or even romantic relationships or partnerships here. So you're going to have some very interesting choices. Damn, and that chariot energy shows up, Geminis. You got to be ready to go. I like the physiology there at that five of pentacles. So getting in touch with yourself, really understanding yourself. Flowing through the emotions, flowing through the feelings. A lot of stretching energy with you, Gemini's, too. Pre-post-workout stretching. A lot of muscle memory. So you got the Empress energy here, and then you got the Nine of Wands. My creative, Gemini's, keep that shit to yourself. This is that sort of be mindful energy here. Over the Seven of Wands, you got the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're on the other side of that Seven of Cups, Gemini's. So happily single. Very optimistic. Are you single, Gemini's? Who sort of has this emotional sort of connection when it comes to you? Because you're making some boss-ass decisions here. Uh, you're the one that's making the choices. That makes all the difference. This is definitely concentrating, focusing, doing the work. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice, practice, practice. Over the hangman energy is the Ace of Pentacles here at the Ace of Cups. There's such a good celebratory energy, energy when it comes to you, Gemini's. But you got to find that sort of optimism. Definitely pull more focus back on yourself. It's a very good creative energy with you, Gemini's. It's a very loving, very free-flowing energy, too. This is like the sugar cube in the champagne glass. But damn. Pulling focus back on you. What's important to you? There's good opportunities, Gemini's, but you got to sort of allow this upgrade to come in. There's happy, opportunistic energy when it comes to you, but damn. You got a lot of this sort of stuck, stagnant five energy around you too, Gemini's. So keep doing the work. Keep focusing on yourself, Gemini's. With that Aquarius vibe coming into your charts, Gemini's, this is like good communication. So anything you've got going on, this is like a good sort of uh, discussion energy. Uh, definitely a lot of clarity. So those of you, if you have strong uh, Aquarius placement in your chart, pay attention to that. Definitely be mindful of the crosswatcher vibes, because damn Gemini's. You're attracting attention. That shouldn't be, like, new to you, Gemini's. There's a, a competitive vibe with this as well, Gemini's. But it's more like life sort of energy. There is a lot of unnecessary obstacles and opposition. So, Gemini's, this is the, the ability to be flexible. Sweet Jesus, Gemini's. If you don't feel this sort of positive change coming within you, Gemini's, stay focused. Stay focused. There is a physiology when it comes to this. So trust yourself. Trust your body. Trust your sort of intuition when it comes to this. This is definitely an upgrade in opportunities. Some of you an upgrade in relationships or partnerships, whether they're romantic or business-based with you, Gemini's. Expect the positive. 
Because the opposition energy around you kind of sees this sort of positive vibe you got going on. You're very mindful of this energy too, Geminis. So don't let this overwhelm you. Capricorn for you is like a good, uh, it's like a good uh, trainer. It's like a good coach. It's like a good teacher. This is uh, doing the work, doing the work, doing the work. Some of you, it's like the physiology of something. So you're going to have to get used to it. So if you're learning something new or trying something new, some of you, this is like, um, you feel it. This is like you can practice something, practice, practice, practice over and over again until you get the sort of energy right, until you know exactly how to do it. Uh, so whatever you're doing, there's like a physiology to it as well. So... Trust the instincts. I feel like your instincts are definitely on point, which is why you're able to sort of navigate this this vibe, avoiding that sort of uh, stuck, stagnant energy, Geminis. Oh, my goodness. If you can just feel the sort of uh, excitement when it comes to what you're doing, hopefully you're sort of creating that excitement within yourself, Geminis. But there is a lot of repetition and there is a lot of practice. Some of you, this is like physiology. So it, it's like muscle memory. Ooh, but it's all about the power of positivity with you too, Geminis. Damn, so many great opportunities. But not everyone is going to be happy that you get these opportunities. So take what's yours and leave what's not. It's not that dramatic of an energy, Geminis. Some of you, this is just sort of life uh, competitive vibes. Keep doing the work. Keep doing the work. 22, this is that sort of mastering. This is you growing, learning, understanding. So you could be doing a lot of sort of repetitious energy. Uh, this is like uh, the creative vibe, right? Oh, my creative. Stay creative. This is a good energy for you. But there is that competitive vibe. So what is this when it comes to Gemini's? <laughs> the five of cups you are definitely a missed opportunity gemini's but damn the queen of pentacles there at the five of cups someone knows they missed out on this opportunity with you someone knows they missed out on a uh, a vibe when it came to you gemini's that's that sort of competitive energy so damn gemini's Gemini's, uh, those of you that remember that reading, you're not the runner-up type vibes. So damn Gemini's. Optimism when it comes to you. Optimism when it comes to you, Gemini's. Some of you could get the opportunity to work with somebody that's really going to sort of help you pull focus back to what you need to pull focus on. To sort of remove all this sort of external vibes that you don't need. This is good clearing work. This is good sort of understanding yourself. This could be Reiki for some of you. Uh, this could just be a good coach. This could be a good teacher. This could be the opportunity to work with somebody who really sort of helps you understand. There's a lot of physiology to this. So, Gemini, those of you, that's you focusing and, and learning to kind of grow. Especially when it comes to creative and artistic uh, opportunities with you, Geminis. Damn, Gemini. Not for everybody, so take what's yours and leave what's not, Geminis. There's that six of wands. There's that optimism with you. Those of you that like pearls. It feels like that iridescent energy with you, though, Geminis. It feels like that sort of iridescent energy. You're kind of exuding that, or that's the sort of vibe with you. So stay moisturized, stay hydrated, Geminis. Let that skin glow. Some of you could be uh, spa treatments. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands there at that Capricorn energy. Pre-post-workout stretching, Geminis. This speaks on flexibility when it comes to you as well, Geminis. Ooh, some of you getting the opportunity. Getting the opportunity. This is going to be hard work, though, Gemini. So those of you, this isn't going to be easy. This isn't something that uh, you're going to be able to sort of half-ass. That's what makes the difference when it comes to you, Gemini's. Not half-assing something. 
Okay. So if there's a competitive energy with regard to you, Gemini's, you can't have fast something. Ooh, Gemini's. What's the pearl vibe with you? Because that's rather interesting. Not too many people do the pearls. Gemini's, maybe some of you are going to create something that's going to have people clutching their pearls. I don't know if, if that's a, a word that you use or a phrase that you would use, Gemini's. I feel like you're that sort of iridescent energy, though. Some of you, maybe your costuming is iridescent. Some of you need to allow that sort of uh, reflective energy back. Mm, damn Gemini's. Over the Six of Wands there, you got the Two of Cups, and you got the Hermit energy. Oh, my goodness. Gemini's optimistic when it comes to better relationships or partnerships. Whether this was romantic when it comes to you, Gemini, some of you a good sort of teaching energy coming in. Uh, allow this sort of a, attraction. This is like a good opportunity, Gemini's. This is like you get the chance to work with someone who really knows what they're doing. This is good masterclass energy, Gemini. So those of you, you could be watching some masterclasses online or you could get the opportunity to work with somebody to really understand something. Definitely pay attention to your body. There is that sort of physiology when it comes to this. So this is like getting the stance right. This is like feeling the energy. It's it's uh, any good sportsman, any good creative person. This is knowing that like the right touch. This is like able to uh, reproduce the same thing on a consistency because of that muscle memory. Oh my goodness, Gemini, such good vibes with you. Six of Swords, Page of Wands. Ooh, that Three of Swords energy. There's the Queen of Swords. Damn, Gemini's. There's this energy with you. I don't know any of you are into string instruments, learning to, to sort of feel that energy. Uh, it's like people that learn to play guitar and they say they, they play until their fingers bled. Uh, it's kind of like that energy, Gemini. Stay focused on what's important to you. Some of you, there is a connection that really isn't all that positive. So, Gemini's, take what's yours and leave what's not. Someone definitely feels like they missed an opportunity with you, Gemini's, but I don't feel like that was an opportunity that would have been all that great with you. But that kind of allows a better opportunity to come in with you, Gemini's. Damn, keep chasing those dreams. Keep doing the work. There's that Seven of Swords with the Six of Wands. And there you are, Gemini's. Move it above that sort of stuck, stagnant energy. Allowing yourself time to heal, Gemini's, as well. So some of you could be taking some body movement classes. Some of you could be, uh, this could be like dance classes. Maybe some of y'all are doing some uh, uh, Zumba lessons. Uh, when it comes to your body, allowing yourself time to rest. You've overcome a lot. That's what makes the difference. But this is sort of all the work that it takes to overcome that. So damn Gemini's. Those of you that are definitely focused and determined and learning and growing. Healing energy too, Gemini's. Pre-post-workout stretching, Gemini's. That makes all the difference. That balanced energy coming in with you. So damn. You're definitely attracting attention, Gemini's, but pay that shit no mind. There's something you do that's very specific to you that makes all the difference. So keep putting forth that time, energy, or effort, Gemini's. It really does work for you. There is no, like, shortcut energy here, too, Gemini's. So that's what makes the difference. So there should be education on this, Gemini's. Education, some of you trainers, coaches, uh, taking the time that you need, some of you learning and understanding. The physiology on that is what's really going to be interesting for you. Those of you with stringed instruments, it's kind of getting that expressive energy. 
Because that really feels like uh, if you study like a string instrument, how to create the vibrato on a stringed instrument, it, you kind of, it's like a, a muscle memory thing. Damn, Geminis. If you got a creative sort of vibe within you, now's the time to keep doing the work. Some of you could really get the opportunity to have like a master class, to work with somebody who is really good at this. This is like the physiology. This is like real-time uh, opportunities, Geminis. Talk it out, work it out, figure it out. Let me upgrade you here, Geminis, because some of you are bringing that upgrade in. I feel like you're happily single, Geminis. So for some of you, that's what really makes the difference. So this is like if you're studying something, you actually put the time, energy, and attention you need into studying instead of worrying about relationships or partnerships that can stay stagnant. This is a working through that energy as well, Gemini. So there's a lot of release energy going on here. I, don't know, I feel like you need uh, some of y'all this could be Reiki. Some of y'all this could be a good massage. You're definitely going to have to learn to, to rest. There's this sort of energy of taking a break. Resting and recouping. I like that muscle memory. So damn Geminis. Over top of that is that Ace of Wands. You can't explain it. You just know it when you've achieved it. So a lot of you Geminis are focusing on things that are definitely... It's beyond the realm of just like book learning. It's beyond the sort of energy of uh, uh, like superficial to actually getting really in depth and understanding what it is, what it's all about. Ooh, the difference between professional and a novice is what this is about, Geminis. It's that extra sort of oomph that you bring. Ooh, Geminis. Some of you, this could be a competitive vibe, so by all means, get out there, uh, uh, be competitive. Some of you get the opportunity. There's a lot of practice, practice, practice here, Geminis. So, you know, take what's yours and leave what's not. There's something you do that's specifically yours, Geminis, and that's what makes the difference. That's what makes the difference. That's what makes you sort of stand out. There's this balance wanting to come in for you, and you need to make sure that you're focused on that. What's over this Libra energy for Geminis? Geminis, maybe some of you in Libra season. Ooh, Geminis. Uh, a lot of uh, opportunity here, but it's also taking the time that you need. So there's a lot of healing when it comes to this as well. Yeah, Eight of Wands there. That's the message. Page of Pentacles. I feel like this is an upgrade in energy with you, Geminis. This is an upgrade. This is what sort of sets you apart. So damn, Geminis. Oh. I feel like this is good working energy for you, Geminis. Uh, so this is like actual sort of physical type uh, energy when it comes to you. A very interesting exchange. It's all the physiology of something. So anyone that's uh, accomplished anything, there's that sort of muscle memory. If you're in sports, right, it's knowing how to uh, make a basket. It's learning how to... Uh, do whatever you need to do because you understand it. But it is muscle memory. Oh. If you get the opportunity, Geminis, take that class, uh, get that lesson. This is more advanced energy too, Gemini. So this isn't like just generic type vibes with you. Mm. Your intuition should definitely be on point as well. So what's with this Queen of Swords energy?
Gemini's, this is also that energy of uh, some of you choosing to stay single right now. The Eight of Wands there, the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords with the Four of Pentacles, to the Three of Wands, to the Queen of Cups, to there you are, Gemini's, the Tower, the High Priestess, and the Temperance Angel. Those of you, Gemini's, happily single. So if you got Crosswatcher vibes, Gemini's, some of you, that could be static relationships or partnerships that you don't need. This is be very mindful of the energies that you do sort of attract in. Uh, I don't think now is like the time for relationship or partnership. So this is like coaching energy. So whatever this sort of guidance energy you got, pay attention to it. This is like it's time to learn and grow and focus on yourself and not put so much energy in external connections. Especially if it takes you off a point of what it is that you need to be working on and focusing on. So this is pulling focus back on yourself, doing what you need to do for yourself and being very mindful. This is you making very mindful choices as well. So damn. Whatever this sort of discipline is for you. So this is like no bullshit type energy, Gemini's. This is like no bullshit type energy. What's the Queen of Swords? Some of you Gemini's are going to get the opportunity. But you need to make sure that you're serious when it comes to it. So this is going to be you don't have time to date. You don't have time for a relationship or partnership. Not yet because it takes you off of what you need to be focusing on. So keep doing the healing. Keep doing the work. It's a lot of practice, practice, practice energy, Gemini. So it isn't going to be easy. So those of you that are expecting things to be easy, it's not. But this is like learning and growing and really understanding what it's all about. Queen of Swords vibe. You got the King of Wands with the Five of Cups. Ooh. Damn, Gemini's. A good opportunity, but not yet. What's this sort of inspiration with you too, Gemini's? <laughs> Whatever this competitive energy is, Gemini's, it's kind of like regular life competitive vibes. Those of you, if you're uh, auditioning, those of you, if you're like getting an opportunity to do something, take it serious. Take it serious, Gemini's. Whatever your sort of discipline is, whatever that is when it comes to you. Mm-hmm. That's what keeps the distractor vibes away. So Gemini's, when you pull focus back on yourself, this is a lot of you pulling focus back on you. Those of you know it, no time for sort of external vibes either. So this is like being very serious, taking everything very serious here, especially with that sort of teacher vibe, with that sort of coaching vibe. So damn, Gemini's. Some of you could be looking at some Eastern philosophy or some Eastern type practices to sort of get this uh, balanced energy coming in for you. Some of you Gemini's, this, you could be sort of interested in the Kabbalah with the red string energy there. This is definitely a journey of self-discovery. This is definitely a journey of understanding yourself, of bettering yourself. There's a lot of repetition energy here, but it's kind of needed to get that sort of uh, the physiology of something, right? So this is let me upgrade you, Gemini's, but someone ain't going to have time for your sort of messy relationships or partnerships. 
So sit your ass down when it comes to something. Definitely be mindful of that sort of crosswatcher vibe too, Gemini's. So damn Gemini's. Ooh, I hope you feel that beauty. Uh, I hope you feel that sort of positive vibes. I hope you're feeling that, Gemini's. I like that if it's like string instruments, you know, those that play the guitar till their fingers bleed. So a lot of you, this is like building up some callous energy. This is really learning something on a very sort of personal level. It's a very intimate type of uh, uh, vibe here, Gemini's. Practice, practice, practice. Ooh, let me upgrade you, Gemini's. Anything else for Gemini's here? Take what's yours, leave what's not, Gemini's. There's a seriousness when it comes to this too, Gemini's. It requires a lot of time, patience. And disciplined energy. Three of Wands. There's that optimism with you. Ooh, a lot of opportunities coming in. Damn, Gemini's that Ten of Cups. Ooh. Keep doing the work because you're calling in some good vibes, but not yet. Not yet. You know, this is that Three of Wands vibe. This is like the surfer that knows how to read the surf. Uh, Gemini's, this is like a lot of this learning and growing with you is kind of, uh, uh, you have to sense it. Some of you have to trust your intuition when it comes to something. Some of you have to be able to read the sort of, uh, the waves, right? The surfer knows. Damn, double three of wands. Very optimistic energy with you. Brings in some very good opportunities as well. But you need to make sure that you're far more focused on yourself than any sort of external vibes. Oh. This is beautiful energy, Gemini's, but it isn't easy. This is not easy energy. This is taking things very seriously. A lot of healing when it comes to this, so taking the time that you need. The physiology on it is understanding. This is like things you can't teach, Gemini's. This is like things that you really... You have to sort of feel it instead of uh, uh, just sort of expecting it to be there. So it does take some uh, discipline to sort of be in that vibe. Just like the energy of putting a vibrato on a violin, right? Or a stringed instrument. There's a physiology to it. There's something that you just sort of naturally feel it. You're not really born with it, but you have to sort of find it. And then once you find that placement, then it's, it's easier for you. It's easier for you. Ooh. So take what's yours, Gemini's. Leave what's not. 33 energy with you. A lot of uh, repetition. So it's a lot of repetitive energy, Gemini's. But it sort of puts you in that right vibe. There's some interesting vibrations around you, too. So... You're going to be able to feel this. A lot of you, this is something that you feel, Gemini's. Definitely be mindful of the cross-watcher energy. So there is a competitive vibe when it comes to this too, Gemini's. Stay focused on you. There's a lot of healing with this. So anytime you're doing anything, pre-post-workout stretching, Gemini's. Pre-post-workout stretching. <sighs> optimism moving forward as well so your intuition is definitely on point so trust it gemini's trust it mm, that aquarius energy that brings about a very interesting change of opportunities with you gemini's but damn take what's yours and leave what's not gemini's positive vibes only it is positive vibes only. Definitely far more focused on you. Take that class, Gemini's. Take the class. You need to learn. This is all about growth with you too. So this is going to take a lot of time. 
a lot of time. Good luck, God bless. Take what's yours and leave the rest, Geminis. Definitely be mindful of Crosswatcher energy, too. So stay focused on you, Geminis. Now's not the time for distractor vibes. So some of you, this could be that sort of coaching that you're going through. Time to pull focus on you instead of worried about the externals. There's something very unique about you. This brings out a very good opportunity with you, Geminis. But it's a very focused sort of vibe. And what's your inspiration, too? <laughs> Good luck, God bless, like, share, subscribe, Geminis. This is very focused.